Hey, what's up, YouTube? We're back again. 2007 SolidWorks Mania. Let's do it. So it's going to be this part right here that we're going to do. And oh, just a quick reminder. Remember, guys, all these SolidWorks model will be free to download for you guys. Uh, just make sure the SolidWorks version is be 2023 SolidWorks Maker. So you uh, you won't be able to open it if you do have the professional level. Um maybe i'm not sure exactly uh i haven't tested that for a good long while so let me know <laughs> but uh if you guys did follow most of my videos you guys got the ten dollar version uh a month for the solidworks uh maker then you guys be able to open this up check it out yourself see if your parts correct or not any tips or not you guys need any help let me know now let's get into it 2007 this part right here uh that looks very simple let me see Let's go to that phase one drawing. Dimensions are millimeters. <laughs> see, they're trying to put this on every single drawing. Uh, let me see. One, uh, 100, 100 millimeters. And then let's go to SolidWorks. I could probably start off with center here. Go to the center hole. Uh, where do I want to put the origin? That's, that's my main key. If I were to make this part uh, at a CNC shop, uh, how would I do it? Um, I guess since this is the biggest feature, I could probably start here and then mill down the size. Yeah, let's do that. So this feature here, so we're going to go from the front plane, 80, 50, this keyhole here to the 55, 14. Actually, I'm going to do that keyhole feature. Oops, not that right. Let's go to the front plane. I'm going to do that key keyhole feature later on. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do the... 50. Uh, it's 80. This is actually supposed to be 80. And then let's go to extrude boss. I'm going to extrude it 80. Uh, I think I want to extrude it at 8. <laughs> Eighty, and then go straight up here. It's gonna be an arc. I forgot what it looked like already. So radius arc, and then another. Uh, let's do this one actually. Forty off the back, and then a hundred. So and another radius in the center. Is this straight up? I think this is straight up. This may not be touching here. So let's just draw this. Actually, let's just draw this all together. We're going to do that little boss on the side. So that one's going to be 30, 25 radius, so 50. Uh, but I'm going to put 25, 30, and an extrusion of 50. I'm going to type in 50. However, here, I'm going to change the leaders. I'm going to change the radius. And then I'm going to change this one to 30. Oops. Extrude boss. Oops. I typed in something really weird. Do we hear a 50? At mid plane. Press OK. I forgot to define where the circle's at. <laughs> so from this face to here, it's going to be 40 to 100. So this one's going to be 40 upwards of 100. It's going to be, there we go, right plane. I'm going to go straight up, arc, another arc, and then this one's going to be another straight up, so I'm going to convert it here, arc, and then somewhere right here, convert any of these, this, uh, round, 
make that tangent make that tangent let's trim this side and then let me see so 250 uh there's an r radius here which the from the what i learned last time is just tangents and then it's gonna be 20. so this one up here is gonna be 200. this one here is gonna be 50. 50 and an extrusion of mid plane 20. Merge it all. Cool. See the two fillets now. Two fillets are going to be 50. And then we're going to do this keyhole here. So that's going to be 50, 14, 55. Fifty. So what I'm actually gonna do here is I'm gonna do a center rectangle, and then this can be from here. I'm gonna hold down Shift, click this opposite side of the circle to get it, and this will be fifty-five, fourteen, extrude cut. Let's go through all of all of that. Press OK. There you go. That just tells me this this might not have been correct. This 200. So I'm going to drive that. I'm going to put 50 here. That's an actual dimension though. I'm going to delete this here. And since that's located at 80, there we go. So all of these are going to do that. Another tangent arc. And I'm going to drive a 200 there. And then let's see if that allows it to go any more tangent. There we go. There we go. 280... Get this dimension since it's reference, make a reference dimension. It's okay. Press okay. There we go. Let's go over here, save the model. New folder, model mania 2007. Call this the same exact thing. Model mania 2007. See what the dimensions are for the little tiny radiuses around. R4s here, here, okay. So I could basically press there and there to get all the radiuses, and then one on the outside right here. Let's go ahead and color coat this, add appearance. Go to yellow, and I'm going to change the radiuses, uh, only one of them, which is going to be the smaller ones. Change this one to four, or no, sorry, to the red, <laughs> and then I believe that's it. 55, 14, 80. Okay, that's about it. So I'm going to call this one phase one. Add the configuration phase two. Save that. Head over to model mania phase two. Hmm. Rotate the keyway as depicted in the drawing. So 40 degrees. Change dimensions depicted in red. So 25 here, rib, and then a 25 radius. <laughs> it changed a lot. I got an idea. So we're going to do 
smooth face for a lot of these. The only thing I don't like is that it will require some math. It's the only thing I don't like, but it's possible. So first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the right plane. I'm gonna grab the top plane. I'm at an axis and then see this cut. I'm gonna grab on the entire cut, insert, face, move. And I'm gonna go uh, rotate about the axis at 40 degrees. Press okay. That solves one of the several issues. Uh, and then this boss, so we're gonna go to this configuration and we're going to go to uh, blind instead and press OK. We're going to make sure that translated well. So there we go. That still works. And that doesn't solve this wall problem. I wonder. I'm going to add a sketch here. And I'm going to do a reference geometry. This point here. And I'm going to drag this down here and see what happens. I don't have no idea what's going to happen. Uh, it might just blow everything up, but uh, we'll see. I'm going to edit the feature. And we're going to do this configuration. And right here, we're going to do from a face plane. I'm going to select this plane. We're going to go to regular blind. We're going to flip the direction and press OK. That way I don't really do any math. And then here, we're going to go to face plane. Oh, I can't do it from there. Ha ha ha. But what I can do is features face move grab this face grab this face uh, i believe it's uh translate and let's go up to surface reversed i think it's this is the principal surface there you go i'm trying to rotate this where's the flip there we go I can flip the direction this way. And then this one is also going to be that. There we go. So that's all with move face and uh, a couple of uh, sketch planes. I have no idea how this is going to turn after. I'm going to have to fix a lot. I know that. And then this one right here. Um, I might just do that with a regular uh, boss extrude down the center. Let me see. That's about it. Uh, dimension parentheses are reference only. Change dimensions depicted in red. So 25, 40, and 25. So this one right here. Um, I, this one doesn't seem right to me. Because it comes up here like that. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to suppress this one. I'm going to build a wall over here. So I'm going to grab the right plane. I'm going to grab intersection curve. I'm just going to intersect this curve. Grab both of these here. Or all three of these here. And it's going to create that difference. I don't know if this part's right. That one, someone might have to tell me. But this is how I would have done it. And now I do a 25 millimeter radius here. There we go. Extrude cut. All the fillets stay the same except for this one right here. Grab this one. 25 and then that let me make sure that's correct yep it goes to a little peak and then a move face 
hide that save let me see let's see how the other face turned out oh <laughs> i'm actually very surprised it worked out oh nice i'm actually proud of myself for this one there's a bunch of suppressed features but it worked out there you go that's a nice advanced little part right there even though it's very simple save it okay now let's go to evaluate mass properties you guys could check it against yours let's change it let's go to phase two mass properties you guys could check that against yours as well cool cool hey if you guys like it like comment subscribe remember the models can be available for free for anyone to download. Check it against yours. Let me know. And I'm going to check it against their answer to see how it goes. Thank you, guys. Peace.